Man of Steel number two, Brian Michael Bendis is writing. Uh, Doc Shiner is on the art for some of it. And then Jason Fabric's got a couple of pages. And then Steve Root is doing the rest of it for some bizarre... I don't know why. This, this is weird to me. I, I, he I, 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 was he credited as Jay Fabric again? It was. I, I came out of this expecting a Doc Shiner issue. And I got half of a Doc Shiner issue. So yeah. I think there's a, an obvious critique to make there uh, about the art change mm-hmm. halfway through. Um, so that, that is a fault. But uh, I did enjoy the issue quite a bit. Still, I, are you still into this, Matt? Are you still feeling it? Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. So it uh, Bendis, no doubt, has a handle on Superman, because this one is mostly set like I'm just gonna talk about Superman right now. It's mostly set in a fight scene, mm-hmm. and then uh, in the Daily Planet, and we get some more hints about Lois and John, but Perry, man. Bendis' Perry still seems off, but here it made sense. Because it made him a man of urgency to where he's going to make decisions he normally wouldn't because of what's going on. Um, actually, I, I thought my Dilly Planet stuff in this issue was probably some of my favourite. I think the scene between Good and Trish was actually really strong, and it made me go, yeah, his supporting cast in this Dilly Planet are going to pop. Like, you know, the, the, the back and forth between them was just so good. Anytime Bendis has been on a superhero book... I always enjoy the sporting cast, whether it was Iron Man or Daredevil or uh, I'm trying to think of some of his other runs that I've read, but I'm drawing a blank. But the supporting cast always comes out stronger for him. Yeah. So, but yeah, the whole gossip, like uh, Goods trying to get the what's going on with Lois. Like I feel like Goods acting as the readers, and even the gossip columnist doesn't have an exact. Uh, read on it, which I liked. Yeah, because she, she looks so, like, no, like, he's Clark, he's a farm boy, he's very respectful, he's not going to look at you. And then Trish ends up kind of like, it's almost like she's motivated by that conversation to come in later yep. on when Clark's back, is like, hey, we have a story, Lois is, you know, kind of famous, we could, you know, spill the beans on this, hey, Clark, you know, what happened? Um, you know, and obviously Clark speeds off to save people because there's a crisis on TV. Uh, but, like, you know, already I was getting just this personality, this interaction between the cast and, you know, they're shipping up, uh, you know, the, the Daily Planet as a whole, I'm really excited about. And obviously Action Comics is going to be the Daily Planet focused book. And Man, if it's going to be more of this, I am so stoked. Yeah, like... I, I, I'm super into it. Um, and then, you know, meanwhile, you got Superman in Coast City, he's uh, fighting Toy Man and a giant robot, which it didn't reveal, it's just a giant robot at first and then he like rips it off and he's like... It's a giant robot gorilla. And Superman is just taking it to it. And I'm just like, oh yeah, this is Superman I love. Yeah. And uh, then, then he rips off the thing. He's like, hey, Toy Man. I'm like, yeah, it's Toy Man. Yeah, I'm into yeah. this. Uh, it's good stuff. But I love that, you know, Hal shows up, Green Lantern shows up, and he's like, hey, Clark, do you want to talk about what's been going on? You know, I know you know things have been weird recently, you know, with Lois or whatever. And Clark, you know, having just, like, you know, admitted that he's missed, like, a, a, a dinner date or whatever it was with Hal. Yep. He's like, oh, sorry, I have to go, Hal, bye. <laughs> and he feels bad about it later, but, you know, Superman flies to the moon just so he can, like, be on his own and cry a yeah. little. But we yeah. get a little more tease of what, what showed up, and these are the fabric pages, I believe. Yes. And it looks like some gigantic cocoon. Like, I'm having a hard time describing what it looks like. Like, it's big and white. Almost looks like a face of some kind. Yeah, I was getting like, a face from. I was getting some sort of big celestial head kind of yeah thing. Uh, but guys, it's, it's just a tease. It's, just, it's it's like the next page of what we saw last issue, and we're going to keep teasing yeah. this throughout this, the mini seemingly. Yeah. Um, the Rogals are stuff I thought was interesting as well. Um, primer- specifically the opening scene where the the Guardian, like you know, the, the what was the what's the face? Um, Ali, Appa Ali Apsa. I was, no, I was going. I was Gandello, the, oh, the, the Ice the, Man. The Ice Man. He's like, "Hey, you! Like, you know, is it a coincidence that the Green Lantern just wasn't there when Krypton went?" And you know, he's accusing of him of like, "Hey, you were involved in this." And he's like, yeah. "Hey, like, if this if this guy did just block Krypton on his own, even after we turned him down, are you not worried what he might do to you or your like planets? If if you know, so it's like, yeah. hey, so." I like that, and then the Guardian's like, oh man, if you, if you did do this, Rogel, like, you know, I hope that you died with the planet. I hope you went out in a yeah. blaze of glory. Uh, but of course, we actually get to the, this this bar scene in space later on, and 
basically Rogel's Czar kind of learns uh, about Superman on Earth and we actually end the issue with him in a bike coming towards Earth. That's like sort of him coming. So Lobo. It's so Lobo. This was probably my biggest problem with the art change is not only was it really different from the first half of the book, I don't think the art in the back half suited Rogel Czar at all. That, that last yeah. panel of him felt so cartoony given compared to everything else we've seen of him so far. It was kind of weird. Yeah. But, Definitely, but we get that page with Perry, mm-hmm. and you see like his career over the course, and just the way that it fades as it goes down, with all the different headlines that he's covered from his time as a reporter to the editor in chief, and how technology's changed. You know, like he's been in this business forever, and he's not going to just let it go that easy. So. I love that. That was the one piece of art in, in that section that I could really get behind, but it feels almost like it's a different book now. Like, yeah. they didn't even try to match it, which is hard to match Shader's style because it's so, you know, silver AG, like clean lines and whatnot. But this went just for almost like a different story vibe. Yeah, it was a little bit strange. Obviously, the, the reminders of the fires that are go- happening in Metropolis are still going on. Yep. Superman, you know, saved some people again. Um, so that's still going on. Um, but no, I, I like I love the planet stuff so much. That 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 panel where Trish comes in and uh, tries to like, get Clark to talk. She's in silhouette, and then she pushes up her glasses. I actually really like the art in that page. It's not the art in the yep. back half is bad. It's just so different no. from the first half. Uh-huh. Uh, but I, I, that's where the art from the second half excelled for me. It was that silhouette and then the, the push up of the glasses. He's like, so what yeah. happened, Ken? Eh? Tell me. There's a story here. We can do something also, with this. Also, Perry telling you it's wildly inappropriate. <laughs> like, like, but yeah, it's. Bendis gets Superman, and I'm happy. I'm excited to see where the third issue goes. Because uh, we know we're going to get Zar. He's coming to Earth. So. Yeah, yeah, obviously but, we've seen a little bit of the fight from later on from uh, Action yeah. 1000. But. And so, and if he does represent like the rise of fascism or, or even uh, in a more focused thing like Nazism, you know, him him not being given into and then going and taking things into his own hands anyways, that that speaks to the history nerd in me. And it's, you know, it's more clear here. Because I, I can't see Bendis changing... Superman mythos that that much that one person caused the end of Krypton because I feel like it cheapens Krypton's demise because I like the idea that they could have saved themselves but they were too yeah uh, uh, yeah I like that too I think it's a great uh, analogy these days for global yeah. warming is the idea of ignoring yeah. the signs and like you know it's, 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 it's yeah. a message there uh, even though this is not the first time that we've blamed you know Brainiac in the past has been blamed in yeah. various versions of Krypton's yeah. demise so it's, it's not like so a new thing to blame on someone but as long as it's we don't actually know it could go either way but Zar thinks that he's responsible yeah I can live with that you yeah, know, but, I, I, honestly, I'm half expecting to find out that, he, like, for him to find out that he didn't, like, he thinks he did all this time. Yeah. He thinks he was responsible, but it yeah. actually wasn't. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. So, but yeah, no, I I love it. Yeah, the dark dark shader art is so strong. It's great. Yeah, like I love it when Hal shows up and he looks like '70s Hal. Uh, so, it's good. And then, is there anything better for me than Superman punching a gigantic gorilla robot? Like. Over Coast City, it just looks fantastic. I don't, I don't got anything for you, Matt. I'm sure, there's, I'm sure yeah. there's stuff, but yeah, I don't have anything to say oh. right now. To a, that effect. They had a redheaded fire, fire woman, right? And then now they're adding giant gorillas. It's, it's like Bendis is like, hey, look. Yeah. I don't know. We approve. The, the, the podcast uniformly approves if, of Man of Steel thus far. Viking friend shows up in the next one. We know there's there's something going on. Matt, what are, you, what are you rating the issue? Oh, uh, this is a nine for me. Despite the art, I loved the the words. Plus the Shana art, even though it's two half, it really carries over some extra points. Yeah, I, I think what's interesting for me, I think I have to go with an eight in this one as well. But the reason the reasons are different, right? I, I think I think it's great. I don't think it's quite as good as the first issue, but I think that's just because the first issue is like starting the story. Everything's new and fresh. It's yeah. like, you know, uh, but I love everything this was doing. Um, and I'm excited about the next one. And obviously, there's some the complaints about the art changing halfway through, which I think is valid. But it still gets an eight from me. I'm still super excited about Bendis' Superman. Like I'm super into it. 
So I know, I know it's going with John Lewis. I know uh, Bendis did say we will find out. It's not cheap. There's something going on, and there's story reasons for it. 